race is being very exciting so far. We have like you can see I think like about 20 to 30 people that showed up and we decided to go make an assembly line and start making bags, packages. So we have a lot of items that people donated. We're very thankful for that. It's going great. There's also another set of people over there uh, making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So they're trying to make uh, between 40 and 50 sandwiches. It's a lot of work. They're going strong, but it's going very good thing, uh, thanks to God. So we're hoping that to get it done soon and get out there tomorrow and, and bless these homeless. By Wednesday, we had everything. So it, it was amazing how God conquered my fears <laughs> in regards to getting all the things that we needed. We're here at the Bridgeway Youth Shelter and I just want to say a few words of how I feel about this. This is a really good experience, especially for the people here because maybe they have bad families or maybe they got dropped off. What I would like to talk about is there's this girl in there and her name is Abby and she's going through a tough time right now. Uh, she, her, her mom and dad have divorced, her dad moved away from state and she had to live with her guardian, her grandma, technically, and um, her stepfather uh, abuses her, so now she is back here. I think I helped her because she was telling me all about her family and like how her grandma dropped her off. And I was talking to her and I said I would pray for her, and she said she doesn't really care for God, but hopefully God will come to her. She said that she really liked the care packages, like nobody was ever nice to her before. And I really felt bad for them, so I started talking to her. I asked her, like, if she's Christian, she's like, yeah, but, I mean, she doesn't want to get up in the morning for church. So I told her, like, oh, she could just do something, like, a little, like, watch the ABN or something. What we did, we went all the way to 1960, and basically we hit every bridge from 1960 to Greens Point. So it was so interesting because at the beginning we were getting a little discouraged because we didn't see anybody. It was raining. It was raining and we didn't see anybody. So then out of nowhere, like, David will go, there's one. And then I'll go, there's one. So basically we're like a little hamster in a circle because... We made lots and lots of U-turns. Yes, it started from nothing to basically seeing somebody at every single corner. We touched base with a lot of homeless people and gave them care packages and it was very 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 rewarding it was an eye-opening experience for me because i didn't realize there was that many as soon as you got off the road a little bit and started traveling around along the edges there's people all over the place so it was a wonderful way to spend a sabbath afternoon Amen. ministering to others I was able to connect with somebody who um, she was only 13 years old and she was there because well she didn't give me specifics but i know she had been abused by her stepmom and um, she's only 13 and she's been through a lot and um, we were able to communicate or bond through music and um, we were, she wanted to show me, you know, like rap songs and things like that and we started discussing um, like Christianity and I told her, well, I, I should really be listening to Christian music because it's the Sabbath and she said, well, what's the Sabbath? And I explained to her that we're Seventh-day Adventists and she said, well, um, I don't like to listen to Christian music because that's embarrassing. And I said, well, I listen to Christian music and I'm not embarrassed. And she was like, okay, well, let me show you um, a faith song, she called it. And so I was like, okay. And so she was singing along and she was really into it. And I was like, whoa, like this girl, you know, she's not really embarrassed if she was like singing out loud. I think it just took her like for me to communicate with her like it's okay like you can be yourself like I'm not gonna judge you know and she was just like okay well and you know she opened up to me and I feel like I really want to go back so I can talk to her some more I grabbed the bag and I walked up to him and when I got there it's like he could barely talk and he was asleep and his pillow was his two shoes so basically he was footless with no shoes on and the pillow that he slept on was his two shoes and I gave him the bag and with the softest voice he goes God bless and he opened his eyes gave me a smile and we left and that was pretty much with every person right yeah every person was very thankful they all yeah. they all said God bless they, yeah. that's what was the most interesting every person that received a bag said God bless you and have a blessed day which actually shocked me and caught me by surprise 
we just, we just started seeing different individuals, both male and female, and man, it was just so huge. So we came from not having any homeless people to give anything to, to God opening our eyes and just us giving it to them, and they were so appreciative of it. I talked with one girl, and it was actually really good for me because I got to talk with her, and it wasn't so much a spiritual realm that we talked about, but we got to talk about her goals, her ambitions, and what I found from the shelter, a lot of these kids want to progress in life. They want to go to school, they want to go to college, and they just need some boost, some encouragement, because a lot of them were like, yeah, I want to, but you know, this or that is in the way. And you can kind of encourage them, tell them, yeah, of course you can do it. And they just needed this. A lot of them were very grateful that we just talked to them. And I think it was good, especially for our youth too, to see our lives are good, we're blessed. God needs a team, and I'm happy because we, we made our team. Today we found the team, and what we want to do is just make a constructive plan to reach out to the Bridgeway Shelter to continue connections with them. Do you want to add anything, Nick? Nick doesn't want to add anything. Nick did tell me that, that he really enjoyed today, so yes. I know that, um, that it touched, the young people were excited about doing it, so um, the fast was a little bit new for them, as you can see by as he's <laughs> eating <laughs> now. <laughs> But it, uh, it was a very good experience. We can do it. Like after these, after yesterday, today, after the planning of two weeks before, like we can do it. Like I mean, God was able to divide the waters. God was able to stop the sun in its course. Why can He not help us serve others? And using whether it's a small or big team. Well, he can use a church to reach out to many people. We have no idea, but it, we have to explore that opportunity and the option. And I pray that no one gets discouraged. Consistency is key. And the willingness to serve God is key is also. God will give us people, as he did to us, for us today. So I'm happy about that. And I'm so thankful for everyone who, who came out, who donated who helped with the care package assembly, who came today, walked the streets, went to the shelter. So I'm very thankful for that.